We're going to reach them. I've we've I've funneled this through some recover people in recovery, and they just look at us and say, "We just can't believe that police and fire would care that much." One local township's quick response team may soon be the model for other agencies in the fight against heroin. Good evening, everyone. As one local police chief put it, we're tired of people dying. 299 people died from drug overdoses in Hamilton County last year. Two-thirds were heroin users. And today, the county's heroin coalition announced plans to step up the fight against this killer drug. Agencies plan to work together to go after sources and follow up with the addicted. Local 12 reporter Larry Davis joins us live. He's in Coleraine Township with a heroin program catching the eye of other agencies in the area. Right, Larry? That's right, Rob. And Coleraine Township Police and Fire are forming a quick response team. It will consist of uh, fire paramedics, police officers, and counselors with the Addiction Services Council. Now, they hope that the follow-up care the team members provide will make a difference. And as you're going to see here, it already has in one man's life. There was a time in my life where I used to live and lived to use every single day of my life. Jeff Moore is referring to his life as a heroin addict. He says heroin was all he thought about. Last year, Coleraine Township paramedics saved his life. The EMS that was there, you know, she could tell that I didn't want to live that way. You know, we, none of us really want to live that way. And she saw that in me and she gave me a sense of hope. She gave me a purpose for the next day to stay clean and off of drugs. Coleraine Township Safety Director Dan Malloy says the new quick response team consisting of police, fire paramedics and counselors will follow up with addicts after they overdose. And if we can provide a, a bridge or a, and it with through professionals and well as law enforcement and fire letting people know that while we were here and this happened we care about you. Everybody brings something different to the table and you know, all three entities working together will hopefully, you know, save some lives. The recovery pamphlets given to the patients direct them to help. We've received four calls from um, the overdose patients themselves uh, saying, thank you for handing out the packet. Because of the information that I received within that packet, I was able to get the help that I needed, and I'm now in recovery. At one time, Jeff Moore thought no one cared about him, but a follow-up by the Coleraine team proved him wrong. He just simply said, you're a human being and we care about you. And when you're in active addiction, you don't think anyone cares about you. Why do you care that much? That's the question. Why do you care that much? Because that's what we inherently wanted to do when we got on these jobs was impact people. And Rob Jeff Moore says he wants to be a member of this Coleraine Township quick response team. He figures that someone saved his life. Now he wants to help someone else get off drugs. And Rob, as a matter of fact, during the short period of time we were here at Coleraine Township doing those interviews, there was a double drug overdose that paramedics responded to. Live in Coleraine Township, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. So, Larry, I saw the Cincinnati Fire and Police Chief and other uh, fire company personnel. Why Were they there trying to find out about this deal? Right. This is all part of the Heroin uh, Addiction Council that uh, has been formed. And today they got together to share ideas. And the one thing they pointed out was they want to take this Coleraine Township model, this quick response team, and make it a model and copy that and use it in other agencies, uh, possibly Cincinnati and other townships. But uh, they've got some uh, work to do down the road to make all this come together. Yeah, it makes sense. Larry, thanks very yeah. much. Today, leaders of the Hamilton County Heroin Coalition expressed interest in using the Coleraine Township Quick Response Team as a model, and that's what Larry is talking about here. Coming up on Local 12 News Live at 6 o'clock tonight, Deborah Dixon shares the coalition's tactics to deal with this epidemic. We'll show you that.